I've technically been playing Grand Theft Auto games for over 20 years now. I had GTA 3 back on my, I believe it was my PlayStation 2, and this was the very first time they kind of went open world. They started to explore kind of different things, and if you're unfamiliar with Grand Theft Auto games, they really like to parody different cities. So I wanted to use my knowledge of uh, geography and history and try to think what I would want a Grand Theft Auto 7 to be about and what setting I would like them to focus on because we kind of know for the next GTA game, uh, Grand Theft Auto 6, that they're going to go back to Vice City. Now, I want to just bring up how before they started with, before they came out with Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, or before they came out with Grand Theft Auto 5, they had San Andreas, and that was a game where they they were in San Andreas, which is like the equivalent of Los Angeles, but they also allowed you to go to San Francisco and Las Vegas, and I'm going to reference that uh, a couple times here because uh, I would like to see that maybe brought back for a future game. I guess we'll see what happens when Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out, but uh, I love that they included three different areas. They expanded it beyond just like one giant city because I would like to see them kind of do that here. Um, now, if you're unfamiliar, so far they have parodied New York City, Vice City, which is like Miami, Los Angeles, and then like I just said, in San Andreas, they allowed you to go to San Francisco and Las Vegas. I also came to find out researching before I did this video, they have been in one other place. In a game in 1995, it was called Grand Theft Auto London, I believe, in 1960. I want to see, 1969, I think, something like that. I never had that game. I would love to see a Grand Theft Auto game go back to London in the way that they do it now. For like a Grand Theft Auto 7 I would love to see them go to London. That seems like such such a natural place for them to go. In my own experiences in London, that would be so fun just because of how London is made up, how it's <laughs> made up, not, not I mean like in our head, but just the way that it is designed as a city. That would be so fascinating. It obviously has hints of New York. Like that's the first thing whenever I take someone to London, they will compare it to New York. New York with accents, um, but th there's such a big difference at the same time. Obviously, there's a lot more history. Um, there's also a lot more communities, I feel. Personally, New York is a big city with a lot of immigration, but London has that same vibe as well, and I, I feel like there's even more so of a link back to different parts of the world. Also, the people that go to London are not the same people that go to New York. Something I noticed in my own travels through London, I would meet I would meet people from like, for instance, this is just random. I'm thinking of Kazakhstan. There'd be like, I ran into like two or three different uh, people from Kazakhstan. And uh, that is not someone that I ever, I ever came across in New York, which I thought was kind of unique. So London's going to attract a very different crowd. You're also going to have, I believe, a lot more unique languages, uh, for sure. Um, New York, of course, has a lot of unique languages, but uh, there's definitely a different vibe to everything. I mean, it's a little bit more open to use, I think, even more so in London than in New York. So I, I believe a Grand Theft Auto game in London, and this is one of those where I don't know if I'd want the game to expand. I think I'd want to go like a GTA V sort of theme where it kind of just stays in London. Um, I guess you could allow, you know, like the player to maybe go to Paris, which spoiler alert, but I do have Paris on this list, but I think that that seems like a very fun place to go. Um, also don't forget to let me know what cities you would like to see Grand Theft Auto parody in a future game. Again, like I just said, technically Rockstar has been to London in a, in a, uh, Grand Theft Auto in the Grand Theft Auto franchise, but it's a really weird game that pretty much nobody remembers. Uh, okay, so the next one that we're going to talk about, this seems like a natural one as well, is we've got Tejas here, Texas. So again, we've been to three different corners of the U.S. We've been to L.A., New York, and Miami, California, New York, and uh, Florida. I think they're a little bit more hesitant to go to Texas, any city. Now, notice I'm not picking a specific city here in Texas because uh, you, there's a lot. I mean, if you're going to go to Texas, just go to all the cities. The, the main triangle, they talk about the Texas triangle, which is Dallas, Houston, and San Antonio. You could just fit that whole triangle in. I think that whole area is perfect 
for a Grand Theft Auto game. I think one of the reasons why Rockstar is a little bit weary to go to Texas is because they already do it in their Red Dead Redemption series. You kind of already get that vibe. Of course, that's a little bit more historical. And again, I want to talk about that a little bit uh, later in this video. It doesn't always need to be in present day because obviously rocks it. And it also doesn't even need to necessarily be in a Grand Theft Auto game. I think I should be framing this video more of what I would like to see Rockstar, f what setting I, I like to see Rockstar at some point focus in on. Isn't also, I learned that, isn't Rockstar technically a London company? It's from the UK. Um, they always parody America, but uh, that kind of just goes along even better so with uh, why they should go to London. But uh, yeah, I don't think they want to go to Texas because they already kind of do that in their Red Dead Redemption series. But um, a present day version of Texas in the way that they parody. Um, I mean, the funny thing is you always see Texas characters walking around Grand Theft Auto games. Um, so there's always a little bit of a hint of Texas no matter where it is. And I'm sure we're going to see it when uh, Grand Theft Auto vice city grand theft auto 6 drops is you're definitely going to get those southern vibes um so you're definitely got, probably going to run into a few texas sort of characters but um this is definitely just one of the cities that i always kind of think about when uh i would love to see in the future and if you're going to do texas you got to do chicago i mean that's the big city that's really missing i think that's kind of the big question mark that I wonder why they haven't done it. Chicago is the third biggest city in the United States by population. So I can't really, I mean, it's weird because I don't really know what they would do. What what, what do you really discuss when it comes to Chicago? Uh, I've never been to Chicago, so I don't really, I can't really dive too deeply on kind of the things that they could explore there. Um, my friend actually just got back from Chicago, so I need to ask him exactly what he think would be fun to explore. But I think because they're so different, there's there's very different corners of of the United States with LA with Florida with New York. I mean they they both exude very different vibes. Not that Chicago doesn't have a diff, different vibe, but Chicago is going to give I think somewhat northeastern vibes. If you're not familiar with the US, um maybe that could be confusing. I think also the fact that they've already established a long time ago um Vice City, San Andreas, Liberty City, which is the equivalent to New York. That's part of the reason why it's easier for them to just go back to that. But it is a big question mark why they haven't explored Chicago in a future game or in in, in any game or in any settings that uh, that Rockstar has been to. So uh, I feel like at some point they have to at least do like an expansion to Chicago. I mean, that seems like a pretty normal thing for them to do. Uh, we already mentioned this, but uh, yeah, there's definitely Paris. Now, for me, because I like to travel, I would like to see some European cities. Like, I think for Grand Theft Auto 7, they got to leave the U.S., in my opinion. And so that's why I'm going to lean towards um, some of the European cities. Or, and again, this doesn't necessarily have to be in the setting of the Grand Theft Auto franchise. It can be just a, uh, it could be a whole different franchise if you want. Like in the Red Dead Redemption sort of Red Dead series. But, uh... Paris would be fun, especially given the fact that Rockstar, their headquarters in the UK, um, I would love to see them parody Paris. And again, maybe you do kind of do these two cities together, London and Paris. Paris is one of the most traveled two cities in the world. It might be the number one tour city in the world. I believe it might be. So Paris might be even more interesting. Um, the exploration that they could do with languages, I think, would be really fun. Obviously, they're going to speak uh, French, but there's also a lot of English that, that is spoken in Paris because of how much of a tourist hotspot it is. Uh, you can get away with doing a lot of the character voices in English with, obviously, French accents. Um, I, you know, you can also do maybe a future alternative future reality. You could maybe step into the future 15, 20 years. Imagine Rockstar exploring where we go as in as humans in the next like 20 years in Paris too, I think would be kind of funny because who knows what Paris will look like in the next 20 years. So that's definitely more up there for me. The reason why I had to put Texas and Chicago a little bit further down in my tier list is, is again, I, it doesn't seem like something I'd really would like need. I need that right now in my life. I feel like a European city. I desire a bit more, um, 
immediately. Now, I'm going to explore a different concept here with uh, with this next one, with my fifth city that I'm going to suggest. Uh, this one I, I particularly want in a historical sense. I want to go to Germany, but I want to go to a 1980s Germany, just before the collapse of the Berlin Wall. So I have Berlin on my list. I'm going to pick this, I'm going to put this in A, because I don't really know how much of an it would appeal to like the wider audience. But I know for me, I would absolutely love to see Rockstar cover before, like right before the fall of the Berlin Wall uh, in a split Germany between the West and East Germany. I think that would be so fun, so crazy. Like 1989, we're talking like days or months before um that is explored just just as a historical guy. I think that'd be that'd be a really fun sort of video game. And I guess that doesn't even need to be made. This this game has probably been explored. I think this definitely this topic has definitely been explored by other developers in a different video game franchise. But to see Rock, Rockstar do, do that would be really cool, especially to sneak across. You know, I, I heard at that time there were a lot of people um, kind of sneaking across. I mean, I actually seen one TikTok of a guy from West Berlin that was sneaking over to East Berlin, the eastern side, and East Germany. And maybe that was to see family or something like that. But I was seeing some accounts about um, even people doing that, which is pretty funny. I mean, who knows why? But uh, there's definitely like a big desire to see what that would be like. Uh, a very natural one, the next one that I'd like to get into is definitely Dubai. Come on. Dubai seems like a really another obvious one. If they don't want to hit Europe, Dubai would be absolutely nuts. You know, the uh, the Burj Khalifa, the massive, you know, the biggest building in the world. Uh, that would be such a fun place. I've never been to Dubai. I would like to go. Um, that just seems, I mean, maybe, I feel like Rockstar probably plays with this idea maybe more than they do London itself. Maybe just because it's such a such a huge focus point. You know, another thing that I think that I would like I would need to consider and what they're probably considering, what to take two considers, what like take two is like their publisher, is uh like where is their number one demographic? Like who buys these games the most? Like who what country is the number one consumer of Grand Theft Auto games? I think it's pretty obvious. It's probably the United States, but um what other cities and how do they do like language localization? That's probably a big factor that comes into how they want to, uh, where they want to set uh, each city in. I don't know how many uh, purchasers they have in Asia, like how many people from Asia purchase Grand Theft Auto games. I'm sure it's still a pretty good amount. You know, if the Indian market really starts to take off the next like five years, Dubai would be a great one because everyone can, you know, whether you're from India or China or in Europe, it's kind of that that middle area. Um, the U.S. tends to always be the, they're probably always going to be the number one consumer of these games um, just because of the market and the way economy is. And that's how my channel is, is you know, my number one audience is always going to be from the U S but uh, there's always something interesting going on with the, uh, the next co couple countries that, that view my videos. Uh, anyways, I think Dubai would be fun. I bet you they've, they are definitely tossing around this idea. And again, maybe it could just be an expansion pack. I think it'd be kind of funny opening it up to, uh, one of these cities. Now I kind of briefly mentioned this before, this is where I'm going to reference Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Again, this is before Grand Theft Auto V when they interlinked a couple cities in one game. Again, it was Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Las Vegas. Imagine they do a Texas video game, but they open it up to New Orleans, Louisiana. That would be really, really fun. I think Louisiana is such a unique place, like visually. And, you know, you got the, the French vibes, the Creole vibes. I think that would be a fun place to see them do. I would raise Texas up if I knew that they were going to do a Louisiana <laughs> expansion pack or if I knew later in the game I could eventually go to uh, New Orleans. I think that would be really fun. It's funny because, you know, population-wise, New Orleans does not match a place like Los Angeles or Miami or New York, but just vibes alone and how unique that, that area is. This is also making me think like I'd like to see like uh, a rock star pirate game. 
<laughs> I mean, they already do the Wild West. Why can't you do pirates? You know, they're in the, the circle of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, so, you know, New Orleans and Havana. And, you know, we're talking about obviously Miami and you have you have that whole circle right there. But uh, I personally would love to see New Orleans. And this is coming from someone that I've never been to New Orleans. I was going to go this year. I was going to go to Mardi Gras. Kept hearing from people that uh, Mardi Gras is not all what it's cracked out, cracked out, <laughs> cracked up to be. Um, maybe I'll go next year. But uh, yeah, Louisiana would be a really, really fun one. This was kind of a random one, but it's just because I would love to see New Orleans throw the uh, pyramids of Giza, the pyramid of Giza right here. Egypt would be fun. Um, I don't think you could just focus on Egypt. Maybe you would do Dubai and Egypt in one game. Like maybe you can do you focus on Dubai, but you can go to Egypt and you can go some of to those richer Arab cities. Um, I don't feel like I should put Egypt in S. Uh, I, I probably would go down here, but, you know, I don't know. Just have them go down. Uh, you could see your character. I don't know. Sliding down the pyramids. I You know. I don't really know where I was going with this one. I just thought it'd be a fun one mission. Just do one mission. Just, just one. We missed the damn uh, camel, CJ. I imagine, but you're in Egypt. I think that would be kind of fun. Uh, another one I think would be Amsterdam. Why not go to Amsterdam? This might need to be along with the Paris situation, you know, but Amsterdam's so crazy. It's so fun. Why not? I love Amsterdam. It's a very fun place. I can imagine the amount of bicycles just moving throughout Amsterdam. So that's kind of like where I'm getting at with this vibe. So uh, we talked about the four cor- the three corners of the U.S., uh, California, Florida, and New York. What about hitting, and I'm sure this is, whenever I look at forums and like places that uh, people suggest for the next setting for a GTA 7 or 8 or just a spinoff game, if they go back to GTA Vice City and San Andreas, you know, those are kind of like spinoff games they've done. Spinoff games before Rockstar has. Uh, this is another uh, one that I always see suggested. It's Seattle. Now, Seattle does not have huge population, but uh, it is hitting that final corner. Seattle has definitely different vibes than they've ever covered. Just like, you know, I mentioned with Louisiana. Louisiana has some very different vibes that um, they have not covered. Uh, I think Seattle would be interesting, rainy. They. The hints that they do in GTA, there's like hints of characters that I can imagine that they've already explored in GTA 5. They could be here in Seattle or whatever they want. You know, again, they're going to have like parody names of all these cities. I think they have to do that for legal purposes. But I feel like I have to put Seattle on the list. Um, As a city, I don't love Seattle, but I would love to explore Seattle from Rockstar's perspective. You know what I mean? Like, I think that would be kind of interesting it's not a huge city and maybe you could maybe explore more of the wilderness especially if you open it up to uh, vancouver canada that would be kind of a fun little thing you could do i would need to think and maybe live in seattle a bit more to think about like some of the funnier aspects of what they could maybe do to make that exciting uh all right here we go so another international city just to get out of america tokyo imagine tokyo japan that would be I think that would kill, actually. That's definitely going S tier. Obviously, I'm very biased because I would like to see them eventually explore an international city. You could also maybe pull this into the 80s too. Maybe Tokyo in the 80s or the 90s even better when when Japan was making a bunch of money. When anime was first in its kind of origin days, it wasn't really. I think in the 80s was more the origin, origin period of anime in in Japan. But, uh, you know, people forget how in... uh, in the U.S. in the 90s, people weren't worried about China. They were worried about the Japanese. Actually, you can find a lot of um, 90s videos of uh, people. And it's it's almost like it's almost weird. It's almost eerie the way uh, people moved from Japan to China as being like the number one threat. And uh, you know, when you look at like GDP and economy and the way Japan's economy exploded after. You know, obviously after World War II, uh, when they got to the 90s, Japan, I mean, a lot of people predicted that Japan was going to pass us up economically. Um, those Japanese companies were just killing us. And still to this day, if you think about like Japanese cars, they still kind of kill us. They still kind of kill American brand cars. I mean, the amount of, you know, Toyotas and um, 
that still get sold here in the U.S. They just they make good products and they make it for a lot cheaper. Um, but I'm kind of off point there. Tokyo, Japan would be so fun. I mean, dang. I think I think if you're gonna go international, if Rockstar is gonna go international, you gotta go probably London first, probably because Japan might be more of a risk. But I would love to see Japan. That would be really cool. Such a unique city. I mean, I've never been there yet. I hope to go to Japan this year. But the colors, um, it could be historical if you want. It'd be, it would just be, I think, really funny. I think there'd be a lot of funny things, a lot of comedic uh, things that you could probably do with that. And let's go ahead and just stick in that continent. You could also do China. I'm not as, I don't even know, does Rockstar sell games in China? Are they allowed to? And if they are allowed to, are they going to... Uh, are they going to stay within the guidelines? I bet you ch- they're never going to do this. They're probably never going to. I just now realized because uh, because China is extremely strict with how they are portrayed in media, whether it's movies or video games. I, I'm remembering um, certain paradox games that have been banned in China because they weren't happy with certain depictions. I think they were old paradox games. I think paradox now these are strategy games. Um, yeah, they're very strict with the way that you depict their country. So, yeah, this is a dumb idea. I don't even really – I forgot about that. I mean, I wanted to throw them on the list just because I thought it would be interesting. But, yeah, China probably will never be done by Rockstar. But still would be kind of funny, especially if you opened it up. I mean, I was obviously thinking Beijing, but you could open it up to Hong Kong. And this is not a Chinese city, but Singapore would be also another rich, fun city to possibly do. Um, I think that could be – kind of some fun exploration another international city would be brazil brazil rio de janeiro would be kind of fun um i don't know enough about brazil also brazil does not speak english there are not super high rates of no maybe yeah in the bigger bigger cities rio or uh, maybe brazil yeah um they're definitely going to speak more rates of english in the touristy cities but as soon as you get outside I wish I remember the percentage. I'm trying to remember the percentage, but I do believe in Brazil. It's like less than 25% for sure of the population speaks English, which I think makes it kind of more fun. Um, that shouldn't detour anyone from making a video game set in some of these places, um, which is a fun fact. I was just now learning about, I watched this great YouTube documentary about um, Japanese Japanese Brazilians and Brazilians in Japan and Japan's obsession with Brazil and vice versa. There's actually a lot of uh, Japanese people that live in Brazil. It's actually the number one spot historically. It's the number one um, uh, place in the world with the most Japanese immigrants. And there's like a whole history aspect to that because when a lot of Japanese people moved there, Japan was kind of struggling 100 years ago or a little bit further back than that. Anyways, it's kind of funny that I put those two, Japan and Brazil, together like that. Uh, I would not avoid, I would not worry about, and again, you have to think about it from like a developer standpoint and a publisher standpoint, but I personally wouldn't worry if you have to do a rock star game that isn't set in a in a place that speaks a majority English. I think it could be more fun because, you know, you throw subtitles down there. Um, I think it might be more cool that way. You also open yourself up to more international audiences. But uh, definitely Brazil, absolutely nuts. I mean, pff, dang, I don't want to. I'm just thinking of a couple memes that I remember. I've seen multiple times people saying that uh, <laughs> Brazil is already kind of a Grand Theft Auto game. It's kind of one giant Grand Theft Auto game. So that's another reason maybe to uh, throw Brazil in. Okay, so this is, I'm going to go back to my history idea here. I would definitely like maybe a historical version. It actually doesn't need to be historical. Maybe it would be less exciting. But So I've got North Korea here picked. Um, this is, I mean, there's a lot of echoes of East Germany and West Germany that you can find in North Korea and South Korea. They're both products of the Cold War. But um, the Korean Peninsula, I think, would be really fun. It doesn't have to be historical. I don't know why I was thinking that. It can be. Um, And again, maybe you put Tokyo, Seoul, and then you do like a fun North Korean part of the game at some point here. It depends on how detailed you want to go. I mean, that's the thing about GTA 5. They went so highly detailed 
in uh, San Andreas slash Los Angeles. I mean, I've seen so many TikToks about people that have never been to Los Angeles and when they first visit Los Angeles, they realize that they've been there before. Like they went so highly detailed and perfectly mapping out Los Angeles or at least like getting so many iconic structures down that um, that was cool and I appreciate that as a Los Angeles, what do you call us people again? Los Angeles. I can't, I can't remember what the people that are called that live in Los Angeles. I don't technically live in Los Angeles, but, um, you could, you basically, people would basically, if they knew where I lived, they'd basically call me someone from Los Angeles. Um, anyways, I appreciated that they went that highly in depth. You don't necessarily need to do that with some of these places. That way you could open up more of an audience with, um, you know, like I kind of said, if you want to go to London, you know, might as well pull up those French audiences by dropping its part in with France. And if you want to, you know, drop the Netherlands in there as well so that maybe you get some Dutch, increase the sales in the Netherlands, some Dutch people a bit more exciting. Anyways, um, I personally would like to see North Korea represented or the Korean uh, Peninsula. I think that would be kind of fun. Probably not historical now that I'm looking at this in hindsight would be a little bit more interesting. Uh, and my final two, these are just kind of some fun ones. Uh, I've got Hawaii here. You know, I mean, just kind of fun. Tropical. You kind of already get the tropical vibe from Vice City, but tropical is very different than Hawaii. You know, the Miami is extremely different vibe than Hawaii is. But, you know, you could see some people with the Hawaiian shirts on. Maybe you have people running from the volcano. I don't know. Uh, that just seems. And then a last one is definitely India. You could do a lot with India. Uh, a lot of people in India. I mean, just to see Rockstar depict India would be interesting. I don't even know where you'd want that setting to be. Uh, and this would have to be maybe in like GTA 10 or 11. You know, give that a couple games, uh, which is why, again, this tier list is more of what I'd want them to, to do immediately. I actually don't want them to do this immediately. And maybe, okay, well, maybe I need to readjust my list here if it's I, if I want to see them do these cities immediately. I guess, you know what, I'm going to go here, maybe Dubai next, then Tokyo. I want to put certain cities next to other cities because I'd want them to combine these two. Does that make any sense? Like you would go up in my ranking if I knew that you were combining certain places. Um, so London and Paris, then Dubai. But uh, And then I talked about Texas and Louisiana. Like Texas would go up if I knew that I had access to New Orleans. Um, Berlin is just here because I'd like to see a historical version of the Berlin Wall and how that came down. Um, wasn't there vibes in GTA 4? No one talks about GTA 4, which random, but I I'm, wasn't a huge fan of GTA 4. I played GTA 4. I think I unlocked 100% of that game. I didn't love GTA 4. Um, for me, I, I definitely preferred GTA 3. Maybe I was just in a weird place in my life. I don't I don't really know why I didn't like GTA 4 as much, but... Um, where was I getting at with that topic? I don't really know. But yeah, these are kind of just like more of what I want to see right now. Again, it doesn't necessarily have to be GTA 7. These are just what I want to see Rockstar do a game in. And it also doesn't need to be in the Grand Theft Auto franchise. So definitely hit London and Paris. Got to hit Dubai. Probably Japan. If you're going to do Japan, throw in Seoul. That's the reason why I have the Korean Peninsula here. But uh, anyways, there was a ton of cities that I left off the list. Please let me know in the comment section down below what cities I left. And if you disagree with me or if you'd like to see a city put up. But just as like a history fan and geography fans, as you are, as I am, um, it's kind of it's fun. I've always loved to do this thought experiment because there's so much there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.